Hey guys, it's the Music Vlogger. I just wanted to make a quick video addressing my takeaway with this whole net neutrality thing that's going on. Because it's a big a big thing in our culture right now. It's a big thing. A lot of YouTubers are talking about it and I just wanted to throw my two cents in. First and foremost, I want to say I'm not an expert in technology. I use a lot of technology, but that doesn't at all make me an expert. I don't necessarily understand all the ins and outs of how internet companies work and so I'm gonna be asking you guys to help me out with that I'm just gonna kind of explain my thoughts I want to go ahead and explain how YouTube how I kind of understand YouTube working and the question I want to ask you is if that's a good correlation to internet providers so YouTube has a trending section of their page they promote certain content and at times anyone who's on YouTube and checks out the trending page knows that sometimes this comes across a little bit biased something will end up on the trending page that has you know 2,000 views and it's coming from a far left news source and YouTube and Google are kind of more far left for sure And then you have you know stories about coming out oftentimes popping up in the trending page and the question is is there some sort of robot that decides this or is YouTube itself choosing what is successful on its platform does YouTube have neutrality so many creators have called out YouTube on this you know hey my video got 10 million views in one day why am I not on the trending page? And there doesn't really ever seem to be an answer. In my experience, YouTube pushes certain kinds of content and certain types of content and certain types of people that content is coming from. Because of this, I, I kind of understand, you know, my content's clean. It's not designated towards 12 year olds. So the the odds of my content getting pushed just based on those two things is much less in today's day and age on YouTube. But I'm okay with that. I understand that. I'm using YouTube as a platform. They invented YouTube. They invented this video sharing platform. So they can really do what they want. I don't like it. I mean, I wish there was a way for all content to get pushed out there and have a chance to be successful. You know, I wish I could say to YouTube, hey, I spent 40 hours on this video. Will you give it a chance and like see if people like it? But I, I understand that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. And again, the reason this is okay is because YouTube is the inventor of the content that I am using and others are consuming. So when they make a decision, while the people might not like it, they can make the decision. And a lot of people can understand, you know, it's it's YouTube. They make decisions, they're showing they're showing that they're left, they're they're a leftist, you know, business and company, but they get to make the decision because they created the platform. My question is the internet similar to that? And I don't know. I, I don't really know much about the history of the internet. I could have done some research, but this is just kind of where my thoughts are lying. And I, again, I'd love it if you guys would help me comment below. Let me know what you think, all of that stuff. Did the internet providers invent the internet? That's probably a really stupid question. I, I, or even if they didn't invent it, do the internet providers play a big role in the innovation that has come through the internet? Because if they play a big role, if internet providers play a big role in the development or even the invention of the internet and how it is today, then it seems to me like they can control and do with it what they want. Again, the people might not like it, but most people have to come to accept it if that's the case. Now, on the other hand, if the internet has nothing, literally nothing to do with the creation and the innovation of the internet, let's say the internet, let's say these internet companies such as Comcast and Verizon, people who in the past have been caught, um, you know, peddling their own interests. I think it was in about 2011, uh, you had Comcast, Verizon, and Sprint saying that they wouldn't allow iPhone users to uh, use FaceTime unless they paid a premium package. Well, if it's these companies who have created the internet, who have built towers that allow data to happen, if they have innovated, they technically can do that. I don't like it. I personally think that net neutrality, you know, should be a thing. I, I think it's not something that should necessarily be a law, but it's something that companies should hold themselves to. If it's true that these companies are merely a vessel for the internet and really don't have a lot to do with the internet itself, but rather allowing people to use the internet, then it seems like when there's a large monopoly, such as Comcast has in many different areas, then they have the task of making sure that these little companies that are up and going have the chance to be successful. Hopefully you're kind of understanding what I'm asking and what I'm explaining. Again, I don't know a lot about this. I'd love it if you'd help me out down below. Again, the main thing, are internet providers, are internet providers quintessential 
to internet. In other words, do they play such a major part in not only the service of the internet, but the innovation, the creation, and the, and the production of it, that they technically can be viewed as the creator and then can do with it what they wish? Or are these internet providers simply a vessel for the internet? And in that case, they need to be held accountable to what the people want because it's really the people who invented the internet and they are merely providing it. The people cannot, I cannot possibly for, provide myself with wireless data, right? Even though maybe 20 years ago I invented the internet, I cannot possibly provide myself with wireless data everywhere I go. I can't build towers everywhere. And so are these companies, you know, at the command of the American people to keep in check what the American people have created? That's my question. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, if you're new, consider subscribing. I'll put a couple videos right here. Uh, they're good. You might like them. Uh, but that's it. I'll talk to you guys later and peace.